Today we're talking about cuneal nerve pain and buttock pain and how it influences our bodies. It's actually quite a nasty thing to have. Um, often it is activated if you are bending low down and you bend, say for instance you, you're squatting and you pick up a rock and then you twist and you hurt the sacral area. So right low down where your bum makes a little V, it gets two little dimples on the back here and then it makes a little V down to your coccyx, it sits at the bottom here. Now that area there is technically our SI joint area, but with it we've got ligaments that run down over the SI joint to keep it in place and under those ligaments we have these nerves, the cuneal nerve, the medial and the central, and they supply the buttock area here and then down the legs. Now when, when you pick up something you often hear like a or you feel it very low in your sacral region. And what that then does is it causes muscle spasm of those ligaments and the surrounding muscles that insert onto those areas, which then compromises the nerves that sit there, the cuneal nerve there. So you can either complain of um, buttock pain here, so that when you're sitting for long periods of time, your bum goes numb and your coccyx feels like it wants to break off and that you're sitting on your coccyx, even though you're not even remotely sitting on your coccyx. So there will be a combination of trigger points of your gluteus maximus and the trigger point is right here on the inside of the bum here. So literally you've got one here, then you've got one lower down there. So when you sit on the chair, you actually sit on these trigger points here that then activate pain and make your bum go numb and causes con uh, a point of pain here on the coccyx. What you would uh, also complain of is perhaps pain down the leg, um, not in necessarily in a specific uh, pattern. It almost feels like the whole leg is, is tingly. You may feel like you're standing on cotton wool, but when they test the nerves, they're usually okay. So it's a little bit of your uh, sacral nerves that are involved too, because they supply the underside of your feet. But what one wants to do with these things is first and foremost, is you need to release the area. So needling works exceptionally well for this area. The technique is the sacral slide. So you'll use the sacral slides over your sacral area, your SI joint area. And then these help to release the, the spasm in the area and reduce the trigger points and then take off the pressure off the nerves, which will then cause a reduction in, the, in that cotton wool effect that you're standing on and the pains down the legs. It, it feels quite, like I say, you're walking on cotton wool and your feet are uncomfortable in their shoes. It's not that the shoes are pressing them, it's like they sore to stand on. And when you sit, you're uncomfortable. You, you can sit, but you can't sit long. So then you're fidgeting, then you're moving this side, then you're moving this side, then you're leaning forward. You can't lean back. Lean back makes it like a thousand times worse. So then you're standing and then you rub your bum. And all these things are, help, um, are because the muscles are tight. So you need to find somebody that can go in and massage that bum a lot. So you've got to release the maximus trigger points, medius trigger points, minimus trigger points of your gluteus. So they would be all along here. So you've got your maximus trigger points, which is there, there, and on the outside here. And then you've got your minimus trigger points, which is on the side of your hip here, and up here, and around your um, hip girdle here, around your hip. And then your medius trigger points, which is up on the, on the crest. So here's your crest of your hip bone, and then about two centimeters down, you've got your trigger points one, two, and three there. So you want to, it's almost like a moon. And you've got all your trigger points around the outside of the moon, and then you've got your piriformis that sits in the middle of the moon there. So you want to release all these trigger points around the outside here. You want to release your SI joint area here, and you want to loosen up the cuneal nerve and your, your um, ligaments there. So you can roll on a tennis ball. You can roll on a, on a noodle. So if you take a swimming pool noodle, you can you can roll on the noodle you can roll on a bigger noodle those foam rollers at, at the gyms they sometimes a little bit too painful so you start off with a little noodle and massage massage you can do the cupping on the bum needles work exceptionally well because it goes all the way down to bone and you release that entire area down so very very important get your bums working properly because if you cannot sit for long it becomes a problem because sometimes you need to sit for long and you need to go and sit and attend a lecture or you need to sit in class and if you can't because your body is too sore it will spread uh, along the train tracks and we'll do a video on that um, so that you can look what the train tracks are so if you do find a massage therapist make sure that they massage your bum because that's one of the most important areas for chronic pain is to release the bum Thanks for watching the video. I hope it's helped and hope it gives you insight on releasing your buttocks and your cuneal nerve so that you can ease off symptoms down your legs. 
and uh, like and subscribe and if you've got friends and family that you think would benefit from this video send them a link so that they can watch and learn and get going go and look at my stretching video it will help you to teach you how to stretch out the buttocks and um, so that you can get better thanks for watching bye